Hashtag take a knee. Boing Boing just posted, or I just saw on my Facebook feed, a letter to Donald Trump by Leland Melvin, a former NASA astronaut and NFL player. And in it, he writes about this, another verse in Francis Scott Key's rendering of our national anthem, which, by the way, um, comes 30 years after the Negro National Anthem from 1900, uh, was approved by Congress in the 1930s. Um, I wanted to sing this second verse and see if I can get it to you. So uh, Leland Melvin writes, our national anthem has been edited to try not to offend because when Francis Scott Key penned the song, he f watched freed slaves fighting for the British and wrote this stanza. By the way, I am a ninth generation uh, citizen of this country. Uh, we weren't always citizens, but we've been here for nine generations. So uh, think of that when I sing this to you. And where is the band who so vauntingly swore that the havoc of war and the battle's confusion a home and country should leave us no more. Their blood has washed out their full footsteps pollution. No refuge could save the hireling and the slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave. The star-spangled banner in triumph doth wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Black Lives Matter. <laughs>